standing for Jesus Ministries. Stand up for Jesus. I'm going to stand up and praise his name. I'm going to stand up for Jesus. Oh, I'm so glad he died for me. And now, thanks to him, I've been set free. I'm going to stand up for Jesus. Stand up for Jesus. I'm gonna stand up and praise his name. I'm gonna stand up for Jesus. And now let us hear the word of God. Standing for Jesus Ministries is brought to you in part by the following. McDowell Professional Pharmacy. Call 377-1088. Lenny Hall and Compacts and Accounting. Call 377-2633. And by Nelson Fraser Funeral Homes. With offices in Martin and Hyman. Call 285-5155. We'd like to welcome you back today for Standing for Jesus Ministries. We thank God for you tuning in. And as always, we hope we can say something or do something that would be a blessing unto you. And, you know, we counted a blessing just to be able to stand here and bring the word. And You know, I've often wondered sometimes when we start to preach that, you know, will this be the program that don't get aired before the Lord comes back? Boy, the way we film a week of time. But 
We never know that, amen? We hope and pray to be a blessing to you. Listen, we thank God for singing. We thank God for everyone that's helped us in so many ways. And I believe we've got prayer partners out there. I really do. And we thank God for you. Amen? If you got your Bibles, we got the message today coming out of Matthew. In, let me see, I found my number here. In the 21st chapter it is. And we know that we're living in a day to where, listen, if we feel God has got work for us to do, we need to be working, amen? For time is drawn short. And as sure as we're living today and God has gave us the next breath, we need to use it for the Lord, amen? And we begin to read in the scripture about the 28th verse. It says, But what thank ye? A certain man had two sons. And he came to the first and said, Son, go work today in my vineyard. He answered and said, I will not. But afterwards he repented and went. And he came to the second and said, Likewise. And he answered and said, I'll go. I'll go, sir. And he went not. Whether of them twain did the will of the, his father. And they say unto him, the first. Jesus says unto him, verily I say unto you, that the publicans and the harlots go into the kingdom of God before you. For John came unto you in the way of righteousness, and you believed him not. But the publicans and the harlots believed him. And when ye had seen it, repented not afterward that ye might believe him. And man, and I'm made to believe, Brother Demmer, that every one of us is going to have the opportunity sometime in life, reaching the age of accountability to repent. Amen? And when the Father tells us to do so, in other words, when we begin to read this, we thoughts went through our mind is, how many today has got maybe their name on a church book somewhere or they belong to a church, but listen, for some reason, I've heard people say, I just can't study the Word. I just can't get into the Word. I can't uh, get into the preaching when he's preaching. And Listen, I'm here to tell you, my friend, that the Bible says that hearing of the Word of God is how we increase our faith. Amen? It's hearing the word, but it's not only those that hear the word, but those that do what they hear. Amen? Or what it's teaching. And there's people today that, uh, listen, I've always said there's something wrong, my friend, if the word of God bores a child of God. Amen? Uh, listen, your eyes are not where it needs to be. Amen? We need to recognize uh, and realize that Jesus said he was the bread of life. Uh, I listened and that he was. I, I, when he was here, he was the word manifest in the flesh. I, and he walked and he talked with his disciples and he taught everywhere that he went. I, I listened, but in one place he says that he'll go away. I, I listened, but he'll still give us something I, I, that we teach. Amen. Amen. He says that there's a spirit in man that teaches man. I listen. I the right from wrong. Amen. I listen. I want you to know that I listen. God has not changed. I listen. He's not changed very little bit. What was wrong back then? It's wrong today, my friend. I listen. People today. I listen. Won't you try to read your Bible? I just don't understand it. I don't understand it all either. But I tell you what. I